Over the past decade, escalating violence attributed to the Boko Haram insurgency, intercommunal clashes and other armed groups have forced millions from their homes, leading to widespread humanitarian challenges. Some of these persons do not find their way to displacement camps, while those that do often struggle with limited access to food and water, sanitation, energy and proper health care. This home for the needy, situated at Uogwa community in Benin City, Edo State, was established in 1991 to cater for the less privileged and orphans. It now serves as an IDP camp for over 3,000 displaced persons. Some of the children here manage to eat once a day, while others do not get to eat at all. You see our environment is calm because we have not eaten since morning and also sometimes morning food before we eat maybe to take like six or four because we don't have food to eat. There is no food so we need help here and sometimes if our daddy did not have something we will be patient. Sometimes if they have they will, they will cook it for the children. These grown-ups were brought to the IDP camp when they were still children. With proper nurturing, counseling and support from stewards at the camp, they were able to achieve tertiary education and are now medical doctors. They speak of the challenges faced and call for more support from government. I was displaced from my parents, as I earlier said, and I was left alone in Nigeria. I found myself on the streets, hawking, sleeping on the bridge. I came here, I started schooling, and that's how I got admission to study medicine and surgery in 2018. And in our health center, as we graduated, we started working there. And we saw that they are small, even though we came back with all the enthusiasm to, to help, like to give back to uh, what we can. But unfortunately, the uh, facility is not enough. Years old after I lost my dad, and I started from my primary school down to my secondary school. And in 2018, I graduated from secondary school and I got admission to study medicine in Edo State University. I, mean, uh, I would like that the challenges that I faced while going to school, other people do not face it. Uh, if um, you can support, if you any little way that you can, in terms of finances, in terms of educational materials, in terms of feeding, I would really appreciate it as it will go a long way in bettering the lives of these people here. I, I, I was born to a very poor family and now I'm a doctor. is because somebody stood up, somebody got up and said, well, these children, once they are given the opportunity, they can make it in life and that's why I'm here. So everybody that can help, no matter how small, no matter how big, should put something, should do something to support our daddy here. In spite of his scarce resources, Management of the IDP camp at Wagwa is doing its bit to cater for the needs of the children and support them through their school. Managing director of the camp, Solomon Folorun Shaw, is happy to see some of the children achieve great feats. He appeals for support from government and other corporate bodies. Home for the needy. We are registered to help the needy in the society. In the area of education, health, Home, people that are homeless, people that are from broken homes, people who have no parents. We created this environment for them, you know, so that they don't take into crime. We hope that everybody will come and, you know, support like it was those days, you know, and you see the result we are getting now. The number of needy and internally displaced persons in this camp is over 3,000, and millions of naira is being spent on their welfare. Not just feeding, but education, clothing, health care, and so on. These children are growing and they have bright futures ahead of them. With more support from government, individuals, and corporate organizations, these persons will no longer be IDPs, but VIPs, entrepreneurs, captains of industries, and of course, nation builders. From the IDP camp at Uogwa, I am Nosare Me Uso, reporting for AIT News.